I'm super excited to share that we bought a new house. Come on in. Welcome back friends, it's Angela from Angela Marie Made. Last week I shared that we sold our house and while we were in the process of getting ready to sell our house and getting ready to have our second baby boy, we were house searching in a really crazy and competitive housing market here in Charleston. After two offers not working out on houses that we wanted, the third house that we put an offer on worked out and I'm super excited to share all about our new house with you today along with a little tour. Let's get started. first feature of this home that really sold me on it and that is the water view in our backyard. The water view is the very first thing I noticed through the back windows as soon as I stepped in the entryway for the first time and I just knew it felt right. It has total lake vibes, lots of wildlife and beautiful sunsets. It's so calming and peaceful and beautiful. I just love sitting out back here every evening to relax and I love drinking my coffee in the morning checking out the view as well. It has inspired me to transform this house into a really cozy and beautiful lake house style. So this first video back was actually going to be a full on house tour with all our before footage, but somehow between the move and selling our house and having a baby, I, or I should say we, Brandon and I, lost both of our SD cards that had all of the footage on it. So fortunately I have a few clips from my phone which I'll be sharing, but we have made some changes since then. The house was originally all outdated carpet and we installed new floors which I'll be sharing all about next week. We also took the double French doors down in the living area and we installed new kitchen appliances. I did retake some footage though so I can share some sneak peeks and a little bit of a tour today. Right now the home is very basic and builder grade. All the walls are white and haven't been painted in years. The home is very livable though while we take our time to update it. The house has great potential and some special features like a gas fireplace wall, vaulted ceilings in the main living area, and a wide open entryway with an archway. We really loved the open concept of this home. It has the entryway leading to the living room and the living room, kitchen, and dining area are all connected. It has a bonus space, which I'm in now, and we're going to be turning the bonus space into an office slash guest room, which I'm super excited about. This space was actually originally closed off with two sets of French doors, but we took those down immediately once we moved in because our son Jackson kept playing with them and they weren't serving much of a purpose. We're actually going to be building a wall to divide the space and make it more separate from the more open areas. Another feature I really love about this home is the full wall of windows that is behind me along the back of the house. It lets in so much natural light and you can see the pretty water view all the time. However, I can't stand all the vertical blinds that are on every single window and I'm really looking forward to taking those down because they just are annoying. <laughs> the kitchen area is definitely smaller than we would have liked and it's really lacking on storage space so that will be a room that gets updated sooner rather than later. The only updates we've made in there so far are updating the refrigerator range and dishwasher because the original appliances just weren't working right. Circling back to the backyard, which has our water view, the backyard itself is just one big open area with lots of grass, and our heads are just filled with lots of ideas for this space. We're thinking maybe like a fire pit area, along with a gazebo, and definitely some kind of DIY paver patio, because we really want to utilize our DIY outdoor furniture that we've made, and so this will be another space we want to get to in the near future as well. Okay, let's talk about the bathrooms in this home. They are both very standard and driving me crazy, especially after just making over the bathrooms in our last house and making them the way we wanted. We chose not to replace the flooring in the bathrooms right away with the new flooring that we did in the rest of the house because I really want to use some kind of pretty tile in them instead. The bedrooms will probably be the last spaces to get updated in the home, but we have gone ahead and added some blackout window treatments in both of the boys' rooms to be more functional in the time being. The last piece in this home that we're really excited about is the garage. It's currently a mess and we are starting to get it organized, but we have never had a garage before and considering the amount of DIY and woodworking that we do, this is really exciting for us. We are slowly working through 
organizing and decluttering our garage, but it's a huge process. I don't know how we've accumulated so much stuff, but we are excited to make it into a workshop and add some DIY shelving in the near future because we need it. <laughs> really, the biggest downside to this house is the lack of cabinets and storage space, but we are going to fix that as we make over each room and turn it into not only a beautiful space we love, but very functional as well. Next week, I'm going to be sharing all about our new floors, which I absolutely love. And then right after that, we'll be kicking off our very first DIY project, which is going to be DIY built-in cabinets right off of the kitchen. Make sure to subscribe and turn those notifications on if you haven't already. We have a ton of exciting new and fun projects coming up all for our new home, and I hope they are going to be inspiring and helpful for you in your home as well. Thank you for watching.